Mic check one, two, one, two. It's time to populate our new forest with dummy data. So what we have here is a forest called Lebenva. This is the script that is auto-generated when you promote a server to a domain controller. The domain name is labenva.com, which stands for lab environment A. And instead of going through and creating users individually one by one by one, it would just like take forever. No, we need to automate that. And this is how we do it. For those of you that suffered through the misery of one of my first videos, I actually did this in one of those videos, but I never really took the time to explain what was going on. I kind of rushed it, and well, actually I didn't rush it, I dragged it out. And I sounded awful. I mean, I still sound awful, but little bit better maybe on some days it's a work in progress so we have two files one is a CSV which stands for comma separated values the other is a PowerShell script we will import the data from the CSV using the PowerShell script if we open the CSV this is what it looks like so this is the same file opened in Excel as you can see we have field attributes in each column header that will be broken down into variables within our script. We will pull this data and create each object individually but within one swift execution. When the script is done, all of our users will be created in a specified OU with users, computers, groups, managed service accounts, etc. So let's get scripting. We're going to open the PowerShell integrated scripting environment for this. Before you do this, make sure you review the execution policies. Otherwise, it will not work. I am going to close out of the create demo users CSV. I just feel safer when I, if I'm importing from a CSV, I'm going to close that out. There's no point in keeping it open. The variables will be down here, the groups. So here we go. Let's see if it works. So far, so good. So we actually have another script in CSV file that on our other domain with a two-way transit of trust between this domain. And the end goal is to migrate all of those users into one of these domains or a new domain. But in order to do that, we need to have dummy data to test with. This is also a great way to create new accounts and migrate their data into the newly created object. That's also 
very possible. It takes a few minutes because we have quite a few objects to create. I want to say several hundred. Now this one will be broken down into states, if I'm not mistaken. We'll have states within our demo users OU, or in this case a lab OU users, or whatever I decided to call it. So I'm going to stop this video and pick up when it's done.